Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Hurricane Matthew is still an extremely powerful hurricane, a Category 3, a major hurricane, 120 mile per hour sustained winds. It's been holding steady at a 120 uh, since this afternoon, really. And we're talking about winds gusting over 140 miles per hour. It's picked up its forward speed since yesterday, now moving northwest at 12 miles per hour. Here's the southern tip of Florida. You can see all the rain bands, but right now it is just hammering uh, the islands right now, just getting plastered, unfortunately, with extremely uh, huge waves. Uh, storm surge, very heavy rainfall. You could see uh, maybe one to two feet of rain possible in the islands, and you can see how far it is away from Miami. But it's going to continue to make its way off to the northwest at about its same forward speed, but it's going to get stronger. It's in an environment right now that's favorable for development, very low wind shear, very warm water temperatures, water temperatures where it's at right now in the mid-80s, and that's definitely enough uh, fuel for these hurricanes to intensify. Now, it's going to go through some wind shear after day three or four, but right now, look at this, possibly a Category 4 hurricane as we go through Thursday and Friday, and look how close it gets to the east coast of Florida. Now, here's the cone of uncertainty, so it could actually make its way all the way over to the left of the Orlando or out to sea. But because of the fact it's a fairly large hurricane, right now, Hurricane force winds from the center out 45 miles, you have hurricane force winds. You go to the center and go in any direction out 175 miles, and you have at least tropical storm force winds. So, so really don't look at the center or the eye itself, because you're going to be affected far away from the center itself. But look at this now. Now it's going to do a little bit of a loop and head actually southbound as we go into early next week, as the strong high that's steering it right now toward the Florida coast is supposed to weaken a little bit, shift farther south, and then it's going to shift actually this way. So, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, just southeast of Charleston, 105 mile per hour winds. It'll continue to weaken over the weekend and then head farther away. But it's close enough to where at least we'll see probably tropical storm force winds in those areas. So there's all the hurricane warnings, watches out. Uh, the latest advisory at 5 o'clock. The next major advisory will be at 11 o'clock this evening, but we'll get an intermediate advisory at 8 o'clock this evening. Now the watch has been, hurricane watch has been extended northward for the entire coastline of Georgia. No watches or warnings for the South Carolina or North Carolina coast. That will probably be going to effect sometime during the day tomorrow. Look at this. Look at the computer models. They go right through Florida. This is really beginning to worry me quite a bit for Florida. They're going to have to watch a Category 4 hurricane coming on shore. Wow. And then it weakens and curves away from the Georgia and Carolina coast, but it's going to be close enough to where it could, could parallel the coast itself and close enough to cause a lot of damage. Uh, along with the storm surge and extremely heavy rainfall along the Carolina and Georgia coast. From the National Hurricane Center, the most likelihood of at least tropical storm force winds, not just Cape Canaveral and along the coastline, the east coast of Florida, but even inland, Orlando could see at least tropical storm force winds. That's 39 miles per hour to 74 miles per hour. And along the Carolina coast, a 40% chance and a 43% chance basically on the South Carolina coast, Myrtle Beach, and Charleston of seeing tropical storm force winds. 7 o'clock in the morning, you can see as we go through the day on Thursday, just offshore, at least this one computer model gets close to Daytona Beach, and then it starts to produce a lot of heavy rain along the Carolina and Georgia coast. So there's things are quiet for us right now. You can see the bands of rain coming in to the Florida coast, and this is Jacksonville, Florida, where the hurricane watch continues. Back home for us. Weather looks pretty good, as you can see. All right, here's our forecast for tonight. Clear skies, then cloudiness late, low temperature 58. For tomorrow, we can expect partly sunny skies, breezy, high temperature 78 degrees, 74 degrees in the mountains. Four-day plus looks like this. If we see any rain Friday and Saturday, it's all has to do with Matthew. Otherwise, we could be dry.